Hi, my name is Danielle and I work as a clinical laboratory scientist. A uh, typical day is you come in and you start up your machines and you do your quality control to verify all your samples, verify that all your results will be accurate. Um, I would receive in samples from the emergency room and process them, put them on our analyzer that takes them down and separates them and sends them to two different chemistry analyzers and then it would do like your basic metabolic, run your electrolytes, uh, cardiac enzymes and um, then I would result that on the computer and put away the samples. Um, we deal with uh, a lot of HIV resulting. Um, we do urine drug screens. Um, all that has to be processed and you're dealing a lot with the, the machines, uh, troubleshooting. Um, I normally work with a crew of about three, four other uh, clinical laboratory scientists. And um, I work a 12 hour shift so uh, 6.30 to 7 and um, the stress level uh, it can vary you have phone calls um, you're dealing with nurses and physicians the job requirements for clinical laboratory scientists um, you need a bachelor's degree and um, I have my bachelor's in medical technology and licensure, you would get um, your ASCP or your NCA, which are national uh, licensures. Um, there is an internship uh, that's included in the medical technology program, um, and that normally lasts about half a year. Um, it's not paid, but uh, you do learn a lot of um, on-the-job skills. The best part of the job uh, for clinical laboratory scientists would be that you get to play a key part in analyzing the test for the doctors and the nurses. Um, you're right there helping the patient without being by their bedside. So you're the one who's responsible for making sure those are accurate results and you, that you turn them out in a timely manner. We try to get our results out as fast as we can with being as accurate as possible. And um, you also get to work with other people. Um, you're not in an office all by yourself. You're constantly working with a team of technologists. Um, you work close with the, the pathologist. Um, and um, the worst part of the job would be um, handling uh, different types of specimens. If you don't have a strong stomach, um, like you would be receiving in blood, um, sputum, stool, urine, so you're not working with paperwork all day, you're dealing with specimens and smells. Um, if you have a problem with smells, um, that would be the worst part of the job. Uh, final advice, I would say um, stay focused in school. Um, you can take uh, a lot of science classes to prepare yourself. Um, and it's really important in this field to stay organized and um, get good grades. And um, it is a, a, a excellent stepping stone to either go into med school or you can either go, you can go to PA school. Um, in the future, but you do have um, a lot of hard work to do. Um, study hard in organic chemistry and um, microbiology, immunology, uh, those are some of the classes that are required, so study hard. <laughs>